shock, anger and dismay. The words of European leaders watching the storming of the capital from across the Atlantic. The violent scenes in Washington had EU allies appalled as what they saw as an attack on democracy. A fundamental rule of democracy is that after elections, there are winners and losers. Both have to play their role with decency and responsibility so that democracy itself remains the winner. President Trump regrettably has not conceded his defeat since November. While EU politicians were swift in their condemnation of an attempt to subvert a democratic process, there were also warnings issued in some quarters over the fragility of Europe's own democratic foundations. Words and actions are not two different things, but because the politicians are not to, to tell, the ones take the action, but we are the ones to speak and then the others do the action. So also here uh, we should be very mindful what we say and, uh, and, and how we uh, lead the debate uh, and, and the countries and, and even European Parliament and Europe. So rule of law and democracy are the values that are not taking us as self-evident and, and, and easy, but they are something that we have to cherish and, and respect every day and every one of us. The scenes of rights may have left many politicians rattled in both Washington and Brussels. But for now, thoughts turn to how to heal the rift. In America, this monumental task now falls to Joe Biden. He's almost the perfect president for this time because he is, he is a soothing man. He is a man who has wisdom. I mean, when I saw him on the screen last night, it reminded me of, uh, of clips that I saw of uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt when he said, December 7th, a date which will live in infamy. You, he has that kind of veritas. He has that kind of presence to, to bring the country together. And look, the people will, there's many people who won't like him. In the run-up to the inauguration of Joe Biden, Europe will keep a close eye on the US, both as an example and a warning.